So let me say this to y'all. I think it's important for me to leave off with this. Fellas, check yourself. Hear me out. This is why I feel like it was very important for me to have this dope discussion, impromptu and all. Fellas, you have got to check yourself. Because the harsh reality is, it's a lot of y'all out there that are on your grind, that are doing the damn thing. Do you hear me? But you're extremely insecure for whatever reason. And I want y'all to know that females see you, smell you, and plot on you from a mile away. Be confident within yourself. Know your value. Know your worth. Know how you are somebody that is worthy of respect, love, support. Like if you're doing what you need to do, you deserve the best treatment. And a lot of y'all, unfortunately, and no matter how successful you are, you can be extremely insecure and allow females to come through and prey on you and milk you and bleed you dry. Stop doing that. You have got to know what you are offering. Don't get caught up in, oh, well, I want a woman so bad, or I, I, she the baddest, though, and I want I want the, the chick that all the men want, and, and if I got to do everything, including sell my soul to get her and have her and keep her, I'm going to do that. Let me tell y'all something. These bitches ain't loyal. Y'all If you're dealing with them and she has all of these requirements as far as, well, if you a real man, you would do this and I need you to do that and this, that, and third, ditch her ass. Again, I don't care how bad she is. I don't care how she may boost your ego or your status in the street. I don't give a damn. A lot of y'all are highly insecure dealing with unloyal, untrustworthy undeserving bitches, not women, not queens. I'm not talking about you, sis. If it don't apply, let it fly. Y'all dealing with them for whatever reason. Oh, um, but she got a fat ass though. And she the baddest, but is she a bad, is she, is she good for you though? Yeah. She can be a bad chick, but is she good for your life? Does she add on value to your life in a positive way? Does she reciprocate? Does she appreciate? Does she respect you? And a lot of y'all are so insecure, y'all don't even give a damn about the damn respect. And you will diminish yourself just to keep her around. Stop doing that. Because I'm telling y'all, females are not loyal. They don't appreciate that. They don't respect it. And before you know, you out here looking stupid and the, the female took everything from you. All because you felt like, Oh, let me just keep giving, giving, giving. That's going to keep her around. Negative. You can't buy loyalty. You can't buy respect. You can rent it for a while. But let me tell y'all something that your little bit says. That's a bad investment. You work hard for your success. Do not allow a female to just come through and take advantage of what you've built. You got to move strategically. You got to be aware of the females that are um, around you, the females that you allow into your life, allow, allow into your circle. You got to be careful. And if you are a masculine, successful man, do not allow a female to change you because that also happens. 
Y'all have no idea how many men I've come across or seen to where it was like they start off a particular way and they built themselves all the way up to a particular level. And then they let a female come through and he's a whole different person. Like, brother, that's not that's not who you are. Why are you trying to change yourself with this female? Because you're trying to get her validation and her approval because of whatever. You become the most weak, noodle back ass man in this world all because of this chick. But you were not like that at first, which is how you got to the level that you are at now. By being a man of power, being assertive, being masculine, being no nonsense, being protective, moving strategically and wisely. That's how you got to where you are now. So why let that guard down now that you're with this female? No, the same rules apply. You can still value her, show her respect and love, but don't play with you though. And a lot, a lot of y'all be real. Y'all allow females to come in and play with you. And you ain't never did that until you got with her. And maybe she sucked you real good, or maybe she fucked you real good. And now you're like, ah, oh, you wide open now. And do y'all know how many men have collapsed doing that? Stand solid on your square and on your foundation. And if a female can't handle that, goodbye. Do not try to start trying to uh, twist and turn yourself to fit her narrative or her mold or her vision of what she wants you to be and what she wants you to do. Because again, I've seen so many men fold doing that. And we don't respect it. In the end, she'll still leave you. Again, these hoes ain't loyal. So you're doing all of this changing and, and, and rearranging just to keep her around and she still ain't gonna be there not in the end when you lose it all not in the end when you ain't risk it all for her trying to keep her around and make her happy all because you're insecure or because you feel like you can't do any better whatever the case is i don't know what be going on in y'all minds but at the end of the day it is important for a man to stand solid on his square because as your little big sister, I'm going to be real with you. We do not respect that shit. We don't. We don't even appreciate it at all. And the moment shit collapse, we're looking at you like, oh, you weak. It's your fault. You did it. And she could be the one who had encouraged you or motivated you to do it. Oh, baby, do this. Do that for me. If you a real man, you would do this and do that. And it can be against your better judgment, but because you want this woman so bad for your status symbol or whatever, you're, you're doing it for her. And then before you know it, everything is crumbling and she's out of there. And you're left to pick up the pieces on your own. I know so many of y'all have probably been in, a, in that type of situation. Thank you Um, in the spotlight. Appreciate you. So y'all have got to be in a position to where you know your value, you know your worth, you know what you're offering and demand the respect, demand the reciprocation, the demand the appreciation for what you do. Know what you bring, know what you offer. And if a woman is not going to pour it back into that, and appreciate that it's time to go because i'm telling y'all right now females we we pray on that type of shit do y'all know how many females are out there <clears throat> milking you again I, i'm behind the scenes i hear what they're saying I know what they're doing. I know the plays. I know the plots. Oh, girl, I just hit him up for this. I just hit him up for that. He got this going on, that going on. Girl, he got that bread. Girl, you know, he he, he got that access. You know, he can put me on, but I don't see him like that, though, because, girl, because you're insecure and weak. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll manipulate that and I'll use that, but I don't really want you like that. I don't really desire you like that. And these can be attractive, man. I've seen it. It's like, girl, he's he's a like he's the complete package outside looking in. What are you doing, girl? But mm, 
he the type that's, you know, this and that. He gets kind of weak like that because he did. They don't respect men that allow them to run all over them. That's what it boils down to. My authentic, true female nature tells me I don't need a man like that. But my genetically modified female nature tells me take advantage of that, sis. We need that around. And y'all can be out here thinking that, oh, well, I'm just doing this because I know one day, someday, you know, I'm going to be her man. She's going to choose up on me. So I'm going to do this. Negative. Do not do that. The moment that you that you see and you feel and you know that you're not getting anything in return for your investments, walk away. You're being played, sir. This girl only hits you up. When she's when she's hungry. Oh, you want to do lunch? Oh, okay, baby. No. Then after the after she eats lunch, uh, uh, what you doing after this, baby? Oh, well, me and my homegirls, we're going to such and such house. We're going to such and such bar. Oh, can I pull up? No, it's kind of just a girl's thing. Like every time. Then you see her on social media with the next dude after you unfed her. Y'all have got to relax. No, the moment that you that you keep seeing the same pattern, you got to bow out gracefully, baby. Do not think that you can change a female that don't want to be changed. Don't think that you can save a female that, that don't want to be saved. Don't think because you have this level of success and you're doing X, Y, and Z for her that it's going to automatically wake her up. No, wait, know your value. Because I'm telling you as your little big sis, I know what they're saying. Girl, I don't like him like that. But he always are, is able to get me in here for free. Or he able to pay for this and do that and do this and do that with his weak ass. They do not respect you. You think that they do. They don't. You're like, oh, yeah. The more I do for her, the more she going to respect me. Negative, baby. The more you do for her, the more she going to use you. Thank you, Andre. So true. Guys do the same things overseas. They fly here and give everything to the women. Then go home broke and broken. Look. Ho, 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 ho. And can I also say this to my brothers? Respectfully. Okay. Third eye says I'm the victim. Look. Can I also say this? Now, y'all already know your little big sister is uh, in solidarity and in support of my brothers going overseas, exploring different options, the whole nine. But I would not be real if I did not say that I need you guys to be universally cautious and careful do not just let your guard down because a female is giving you a little play or showing you a little bit respect that maybe you're not used to or a little bit of love or attention that you're not used to she has got to show and prove on a consistent ongoing basis because y'all can also get finessed that way as well oh i ain't never had no woman do this for me but she's only doing it temporarily in order to get X, Y, and Z out of you. And the moment that she gets it all, you're out. So y'all got to move strate strategically and wisely. Don't think because you're going somewhere different that that makes the women exempt from being bitches. Okay? Okay. Be wise. Be wise wherever you go. Wherever you go. Never feel like you're safe when it comes to, you know, uh, bullshit from female. Like, you just don't. Treat everybody accordingly. You know, everybody has to show and prove their value and their worth. Everybody has to pour in. It can never be an instance to where it's like, oh, well, since I'm in a new environment, then I can go ahead and be a simp because, no. Treat everybody accordingly. I don't give a fuck how feminine, fit, friendly she is. I have to see if it's done on an ongoing, consistent basis. Because best believe we play on that shit too, you guys.
oh, well, let me just pretend. And uh, I'm going to be real. A lot of men don't even give women enough time to even show who she truly is. You just believe her off the off the flip. Like, oh, is she she's showing me love. Let me go ahead and do it. No. Don't do that with any woman. No woman should be exempt from that. Not me, not your mama, not your sister, not your grandma. Everybody, every woman should um, be thoroughly vetted and inspected. Now, I already know that, you know, it could it could still end up badly, even if you vet thoroughly or you do your best to do all that. But you still have to do your due diligence, though, period. Never just go in blindly with your guard down, feeling safe. You have got to move wisely because females will play on that shit. I, I hear them. I know what they say. I know. I'm like, damn, he a good dude, though. Girl, but I don't want him. He did. See that? I can just use him for this. Or when it comes to the masculine men, yeah, I like that. And I need a man like that. But, girl, I just can't control him, now. So I hear all of that. And either way, if you're dealing with a female like that, don't deal with her at all. Do not try to make yourself um, fit into a mode that a genetically modified female or any woman wants you to fit into just to appease her and have her. Because that's another thing that I feel like my brothers can, can fall into as well. It's like, oh, but I really want her though. And so let me be whatever she wants me to be so that I can get her and I can have her. Fuck that. And again, I don't care what caliber of woman she is. There are roles. There are roles, period, you guys. The woman revolves around you. I know women, I know ladies, if y'all watching, because y'all know y'all do, that sounds so uh, weak. That sounds so bad, but that's, that's just the order. That is the natural order. The earth revolves around the sun, period. Stop it. That's the way, that it, that's the way of the universe. So she has to um, fall in alignment with you and your gravitational pull, not the other way around. So I thought that this would be a very important, dope discussion for us to have because I need my brothers to be aware of how a lot of these females are plotting and planning on them. Know your value, know your worth, especially if you are a successful man. There's no way you should be out here trying to appease anybody. You are a strong, intelligent, powerful man of means. Put some respect on your damn self. And, and do not allow somebody else to come through and try to get you at a discount. And a lot of y'all do that for whatever reason. Wanting to fit in, wanting to be a people pleaser. Maybe you have mama issues. Maybe you have daddy issues. Maybe you got abandonment issues. Maybe you grew up being that lame in school, whatever the case is. In the day, when you reach a certain level of success and all of that, put some respect on yourself. A lot of y'all, when it comes to women, just let your guard completely down. Like, oh, well, she fine, though. And she being nice to me. And a lot of females will know that that's all it takes to get access to you is to be nice. Show and prove. Again, on an ongoing, consistent basis. Not for two days. Not for two weeks. Not for a month. I need to know what you're really about. Before I just start doing and giving you everything. Women do not respect what is given freely. No, no requirements, no standard, no. 